Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today we are going out to the furthest edge of the solar system to a tiny little Kuiper Belt object called Haumea. Back in January, scientists predicted that this tiny body would pass in front of a star, eclipsing it and giving them an opportunity to precisely measure the shape of the object. You see, Haumea rotates at about four, uh, once every four hours, making it one of the fastest bodies rotating where the size is greater than 100 kilometers. It's also known that the, the rotation is so fast that it pulls it into a kind of rugby ball shape. So on January 21st, 11 telescopes around the world set up uh, looking for the eclipse, the transit, and they would measure the time, and by measuring the time, they would get an idea of the exact profile. However, what they also found was they found dips in the brightness of the star before and after the initial passage. And this is indicative of a ring. This is the first time a ring has been found around an object in the Kuiper belt. The measurements they got is that the ring is about 2,287 kilometers in radius. It's 70 kilometers thick. And at that distance, it puts its period very close to about 12 hours, which is coincidentally about three times the rotation rate. Whether this is a coincidence or some part of maintaining the ring has yet to be determined because, of course, barely have any data at this time. Haumea is actually one of the more interesting objects out there. I mean, even its discovery story is rather interesting. There are two teams which claim discovery on this. Now, uh, one team was Mike Brown. They, they discovered it uh, in 2004. The images were taken on May 6th, and while collecting more data, they prepared to publish the discovery. But before Mike Brown's team sent the data to the Minor Planet Center, another team in, in uh, Spain looked at old images they'd taken from 2003 and found the object. However, there's some evidence that uh, the impetus for looking back at this old data was triggered by somebody looking at the web servers that Mike Brown and his team were using to host their documents. The Spanish team submitted their discovery to the Minor Planet Center first, and therefore should get discovery credit. And so the discovery date when it was published showed 2003, however, no team was listed on the discovery. And ultimately the name chosen was the name that Mike Brown had suggested. And incidentally, the name Haumea actually comes from Hawaiian mythology. Haumea is a fertility goddess. So the new measurements of Haumea actually make the object larger than they expect, which means correspondingly that the albedo, the surface brightness, has had to drop by about one third from 0.75 to 0.51. Most rotating bodies get stretched into an oblate spheroid, where their equatorial diameter is greater than their polar diameter. However, Haumea spins so fast that it is actually stretched into an egg-shaped triaxial ellipsoid. Its measurements are 2,322, 1,701 by 1,138 kilometers. So in the long axis, it's actually about the same size as Pluto. However, Pluto is a sphere, this is not a sphere, so the actual mass of the object is about one-third that of Pluto. Now these accurate measurements come because of the occultation data, but before this they were able to estimate this but just by looking at the way the brightness changed. But these observations also showed one other really interesting thing. There would be a big red spot somewhere on the surface that was changing the color of the object as it rotated. All this adds up to a very mysterious object. Haumea is also accompanied by at least two moons. The known moons are Hiiaka, that was the first one discovered. It's about 310 kilometers across and has a 49 and a half day period. The second one discovered was actually closer in. It's Namaka, it's about 170 kilometers across and its orbital period is about 18.3 days. Now, of course, these sizes are entirely estimated from the amount of light that is reflected back. And as we just saw, you know, the parent body changed its albedo by about 30%. So it's entirely possible that these are wrong by about the same proportion. 
The moons, of course, take their names from Hawaiian mythology. They are named after two of the daughters of Haumea. Haumea is also part of a collisional family. Now, a collisional family is where you've got one object and it's smashed up into smaller parts. Now, the smaller parts will all tend to have the same inclination, the, roughly the same semi-major axis, and probably um, eccentricity. But the other orbital elements are tend to ch evolve over time, leading to the things being spread out. So, there's at least uh, five other objects known in this family that share similar characteristics. They're all, you know, relatively small, 300 kilometers, couple of hundred kilometers across. This is the only known collisional family in the Kuiper Belt. Now, another thing to note is that the diffusion of the orbits, the rate at which these uh, the other objects change, uh, you can simulate this in numerical simulations, and they figure out that to spread the objects out completely throughout the space available would take about a billion years. So it's believed that the collision that formed this group probably happened at least a billion years ago, back when the solar system was a very different place. Now that we found this ring, that of course just raises many, many more questions. There's a ton of work to be done. How did this ring get there? How long will it survive? How long ago was it, was crea was it created? In terms of distant solar system objects, it really is one of the most interesting ones out there, and it would be amazing to send a spacecraft to it. During its 284-year orbit, Haumea will come in as close as 35 AU and go out beyond 50 AU, but as luck would have it, it passed Aphelion in around 1992, so it's still out around 50 AU from the Sun at this time. But if there was sufficient will to send a mission, it's possible to get there using a Jupiter gravity cyst in about 15 years. That eccentric orbit, incidentally, is in part because it's in resonance with Neptune. It is in a 7 to 12 resonance. That means it goes around the, its orbit 7 times for every 12 times Neptune goes around. And that interacts with the orbit, uh, pumping up its uh, eccentricity at the expense of its inclination. So while some people still speculate about the existence of Planet X, we don't need to speculate about Haumea. It is one of the weirdest planets in the solar system. And now that we've found a ring around it, it just got a whole lot weirder. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.